Okay, top eight. Let's uh, join the one that is uh, already in progress. Uh, very familiar. So this <laughs> in my game. So swarm working right from the start, and this was yeah, this was the the opener that uh, never would have hit, but uh, then he's avoiding it nicely, and he hits with heads and spikes presumably against the drowned god, which uh, doesn't necessarily mind having characters in the dead pile, but of course uh, the power gain you do mind, and we have um, Magnus playing hitting with uh, Winter Festival and he has Starley on the board and is able to marshal from the dead pile he's already gained 3 gold, there is one drowned disciple and is there another phase? there is another phase where the disciple can trigger the challenges phase with Old Vic so if there were two disciples things would go quite quickly And with one, crossing has a chance to be faster. And it has a, a chance anyway, because the Drowned God decks are famously uh, lacking in military icons, so that's one challenge that uh, you either get unopposed or you are absolutely sure you can push through on the crossing challenge on the third one. And uh, Greyjohn has Intimidate, gets rid of... Uh, some of the defense to push the power through as well so um, yeah Greyjoy can do its thing uh, uh, excuse me Stark crossing can do its thing the question is of course is the passive power fast enough so two per turn with uh, the two disciple triggers but if there were four and then you add another phase for instance the dominance or or something or a, a fanatic uh, in that pile which can yeah, there is one which can uh, trigger in another phase then it becomes quicker but really the lacking part is the second disciple there is also an acolyte yeah no no need to um, worry about the time here I can play slowly this will end very very quickly I think in the in terms of rounds As you can see on defense, uh, Zinni attacking a little bit. The problem is that uh, he's not going to get unopposed here, and he is exposing himself to um, to conceding the unopposed power. He might anyway because of intimidate, but crossing is uh, fast, and uh, if you can uh, slow it down and let your power passive power come through, you do have a chance, but uh, if you can see some unopposed as well hmm, I don't know, the military with Intimidate will get rid of uh, Tarle and there is that as well, so yeah all of them unopposed I think here Unless the fanatic comes in, something in shadows as well. This could be Mira, but no gold. Uh, looking at uh, the wrong player. No, it's a Greyjoy, a shadow card. So uh, the um, the drowned god character. With Shadow the Forecaster kills a standing character, probably. Well, 
Okay, so I collect gains one power, and then disciple gains another. And uh, fanatic can oppose this. Could have killed the different character as well, because claim gets uh, gets the acolyte anyway. Or you keep it so that um, it can oppose power in theory, of course. Uh, with intimidate instead, it wouldn't. So. Uh, Georgian is uh, was targeted with this event, so he doesn't even near. He has uh, start on both challenges and insight. And still standing for dominance, which brings Dennis up to 12. No Naga's ribs on the board. But it is 12 8. 8 is um, not bad. So if there were two disciples and you get three phases, that uh, is potentially 6 power or more if one of the characters that gets killed is Acolyte. So that can win passively if you're first player before the challenges really start. However, it's uh, irrelevant because there isn't a second disciple. Okay, this time Winter Festival doesn't hit because Uneasy True stops it. So, okay. This kind of negates the crossing stuff. If you do three challenges, you give three power away. Then you get whatever back for power claim renown and crossing. It doesn't really work out. Unless there is uh, a renown and superior claim or multiple instances of renown across different characters. We see if that's the case. But then if you give three power away and some is gained for a disciple opponent can get close to victory, so that's a nice plot here for Zini. That's 10. Fortunately, you give power away for an easy truce if you want to do the old week. And if this, for instance, is Mira, which I think it well might be, that does blank disciple in the challenges phase potentially. But. Uh, I'm not sure this is even the round where you need to worry about it. I don't think uh, either player will win here. We'll go into uh, the following round because Uneasy True stops anything that would get either player to 15. And here come the characters. Sansa does not have renown at the moment. Still blanking the disciple, which is fair enough, but uh, yeah, the fanatic can trigger in a different phase. 
So there's no no good reason to to do the power challenge. I think you pass, and then Dennis makes the calculation if uh, doing the power challenge is uh, worth it. Of course, he has the the minus from the agenda. So if it's on the first challenge, I don't think he can win it. And then if you need to do another challenge before that, you need to make the calculation that you are giving another power away. Seventeen with one stealth, I think. So if it stealths a six strength character, seventeen against twenty six. Yeah, not bothering. But now, do you um, do you do the fanatic trigger? Yeah, he does do it. Gains another power. Let's see what this can do. So, standing face not the best. Should have uh, done that in dominance probably to kill, possibly kill the fanatic, so that it uh, can uh, well it can be done next round as, uh, as well if uh, if it's enough to get to 15 before challenges. Now, if you play wildfire assault and win dominance, that's. Uh, Pretty good situation, I think that might win the game. Then it has you win or you die, which would win initiative. Or does he? Actually, that's, is that still restricted? So he, he might not have that then. Casting a little, of course, we don't know the plots. And uh, second winter festival is still available, but that's too slow. At this point, I think the game will end in the challenges phase. If the round god wins, it might win before the or during the initiation process for the power challenge. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that stops Winter Festival, but then it's, I think, with the crossing trigger, he he wins before that. The question is, do you have enough with the going for the, the gold here? Do you have enough to win before that? Second Disciple, and then triggered in two phases. And one of those phases is already stopped. So 11 and uh, Accolade is marshaled for instance and then in the challenges phase Accolade gets killed by Fanatic from the dead pile, gives, gives him 12 and then Disciple is 13 which is um, not quite enough.
Okay, if that's another one of these that can be used. Second acolyte, or actually the first, this is the one that was in the dead pile. <laughs> Four is needed. There is one here and the other one here. And if this is a King's Landing crossroad, that's the third one. That's 14. Now is there a fourth one? Good enough. And this one is too slow as well. So just running out of uh, useful characters here. To be fair, he has a lot of them. But yeah, that second drowned disciple was needed, I think. He can get to 14 passively in the challenges phase. I think that possibly the thing to do was to try to kill Acolyte once in the marshalling phase, then marshal him back, because that also means he can be taken for claim which stops um, the military challenge being initiated, I don't know, it's, uh, it's too much stuff on the board. It's just forcing one character to be uh, with the power icon to be used Osha will remove herself if this is opposed. Or not even bother, it doesn't make any huge difference. <laughs> yeah, I think with uh, its stealth uh, it should be enough. But yeah, there is a lot of power. Let's, <laughs> let's do our calculation so everything is plus two, which means it's uh, 14, 17. 20, 24, 27, 30, 36, this is 39 and 42, and on the other side we have 38, that's pretty close, 38 and uh, yeah, fortunately Uh, the card in shadows, hmm, is that enough if it kills the, the fanatic? Forty-six against thirty-eight, it's not quite enough. Let's say forty-two. Must have uh, missed something.
35. Yeah. So forcing that one icon to defend and then Acolyte was killed instead of uh, an on power icon, but still with uh, an additional 5. It's um, not quite enough here for Zini, but uh, yeah. Decent effort nonetheless. <laughs> Very close. Could have gone uh, either way with the second disciple, I think. Zini had it uh, in spite of the mirror trigger. Good game. And Dennis again at the business end of the tournament. I think he lost. Uh, did he lose in the final of the last one? So, chance here to go one better if he wins the next two games. Let's have a look at what else is still being played. Nothing updated here, so might be everything still to finish. Okay. What's the most interesting one here? So two still uh, being played. The fourth one must have uh, finished by now. Let's have a look at this one. We haven't seen these two players today yet. So we have Bamboo from China playing Greyjoy Luffin apart. Uh, Reason is in a pot with Aloof, so no reason from the sea in this deck. And we have uh, Red Al from Australia playing uh, Targaryen Kings of Summer. And looking at the cards here, it looks like a burn deck and uh, it's round four and nothing decisive as far as power is concerned let's see what uh, plots we played so just going for the draw here which is uh, common for burn decks and on the other side getting rid of uh, location and attachment we had Morgulis looks like in the previous round the maiden for initiative and you win or you die, just played uh, now. One reserve for the summer, of course, which leaves one card in hand. And we have the economy set up and uh, some boats as well. And only two rose roads here, which means possibly either it was caused by knife flyer and, and nothing burns triggers, or it's um, by design that it uh, plays so few location so that a political disaster can be played in the deck. We'll see that uh, shortly, I guess. So Wildfire Assault does nothing. And Counting Coppers on the other side. Uh, good plot to play after you win or you die. And let's have a look at uh, the dead pile situation. Ooh. Hmm. So three of the big guys already died in was this in the wild, uh, in the Morgulis that uh, Bamboo played himself? Interesting. What did he kill? Was it worth it? No only charge on the other side. We have Balon coming back. He can uh, pick from the discard pile and this is quite uh, huge. So some events, then he's on the board. Bagging Brothers, always useful if you can bestow them. Okay. No reason to analyze further, so looks like um, the Dark Summer deck has no answers for this despite being uh, way ahead on power I guess uh, these two cards in hand are not characters and then uh, we have a Renown that can take uh, something from the discard pile we have a Denial of uh, Defenders and Intimidate with Euron no obvious stand at the moment, but uh, he intimidates uh, some icons here, and of course uh, things go quickly from there. Yeah. Okay, bad time to join this one, I guess. Nothing uh, to see really, but uh, there is still another one. And this one, I have a feeling, could uh, go much uh, longer. And uh, yeah, so familiar stuff from Firebar. This time he has the Red Keep as well, another 
use for cancel we have Ricasso with the milk and the loaded up begging brother with the milk and uh, currently on zero power of course things can go quickly in this uh, kind of deck with the trans game and on the other side we have pure builders it seems the wall is uh, on the board and we have Brandon's gift which is superb economy for this deck let's see so Sparebot has taken the milk and uh, the icon spread we have the military icons with the practice blades one shadow tower mason for the intrigue icon and now old tether salt who can also do a search searches for another milk yeah, there is some no attachments here on the big characters so craven not that useful and we have an abandoned stronghold we do number of builder characters is huge i won't even count them i assume it's everyone ex except uh, that result is a builder here or should be so that um <laughs> yeah that stops um the intrigue challenge threat as far as the huge uh, strength is concerned if you defend with one and then give him plus 10 strength it's a pretty strong defense but um, the stronghold can be assaulted so windblown is milked and we don't see it's non-unique so we don't see any others and we don't see lord andres's host at the moment either yeah this will be some steady power gain now with the wall potentially which um, windblown cannot assault so you would need the host to assault it See is now blocks the red keep as well and uh, yeah two of these that boost initiative but uh, they boost reserve as well i wonder if you might see some more of these seven plots of course um, they are not war plots except for one which means uh, you give prize away if you play them Harry is already played here and uh, it's not entirely clear what um, the rest is it is clear to those who watched the previous game and remembered it <laughs> I think close call is one card and what is the last one I am not sure uh, Annals is the last one yeah and in the previous game we saw that um, forward never committed to a strong intrigue challenge so that was kind of a spoiler that he did not have at the runs game but this time he does and i think argento cannot well he could stop it with the stronghold i guess let's see if he bothers it's five it's not um, overly concerning just yet but if you can stop it you may as well try events with 10 and then the stronghold can add something big here losing by two at the moment no gold for either player but there is a uh, water gardens here and what is happening now Halder is being used to flat out win on defense unless there is another trigger and no firebird doesn't have anything Blackbird still standing can be used with Halder, but also can be used with 
uh, with that result to search for a small card again so Cravens, milks stuff like that And all of this even opens up the chance here for a gentle to gain on a post power. Mm, but no. Flip bottom. Puts the tethered prince in. So that stops that. And uh, yeah, happy to kill something, I think, because close call is in the deck, if I remember correctly. And you need to move something successfully to get the extra card. And something else happening before. And the standing phase. Let's see. Now, would uh, something like Last of the Giants be in this deck? Uh, it's lay waste and does not get rid of the wall it gets rid of the milk uh, which milk would that be exactly the one on the bagging brother okay that cancels so that result it cancels the search um, these little reactions and cancels the harder in the challenges face and there is three available so I think we'll see some mass cancel of, of all the available triggers possibly here and now it's even a situation where Argento doesn't uh, necessarily mind giving prize the way because he can uh, win the power challenge to get the power back I think the only way for forward back here is a series of uh, trans games now so we have the mother that's a draw for a gentle and we have the annals of castle black so he can go for another search is there a cancel there is one cancel here there's secret schemes and the lay waste and secret schemes does not have a limit like the runs game does so it's five plus two in the plot phase okay so that's uh, the one trigger before it stands again in the standing phase we might see it used again then yeah, getting rid of those uh, additional seven cards is of course uh, important we'll see if um, there is another one in hand Well, the third one was shuffled back, so it's triggered before the draw phase, giving 
or but a slightly higher chance of top decking it. But of course, if uh, you w really want to stop it, you have to take the water gardens into account as well and uh, get rid of it before uh, it can be played with the reduction. Although that's uh, uh, that's quite a reduction, reducing by seven something that costs uh, one. Let's see if there is something uh, with a higher cost that can be reduced. And here comes some filtering again, saving the discard pile for flea bottom triggers. Not sure what the kneeling is about, so that's a misclick. I assume should be standing. You can swarm it a little bit, I think here there won't be Morgulis, but uh, yeah, the Harris is coming back, so just to keep something in reserve. This board survives the Harris pretty well anyway. And uh, superb economy, gaining 3 for the Carpenter and then Brandon's gift. Gains uh, up to three as well. Mother has a limit, so I think it's just drawn two by now. Or one, maybe actually. And here we go. Burning Bright puts a big army into play that uh, gives the other mother card here. And this one might be cancelled. No. So watch as need goes through and adds a bunch of uh, builders. Reserve is nine, so pretty good situation. And uh, let's see. So. Um, um, Dolores said he's in hand, we know that, and still the abandoned stronghold has a plus a thousand, and of course now the haunted forest and castle black as well, but also fire party is slightly stronger, he has the two nine strength armies now, 28. <laughs> Nine on the board, then Halder Ed is cancelled, needs the faction card. Halder can be cancelled in theory as well. Mm, the stronghold I don't think can be cancelled. There is no salt. Uh, 
Argento is going to win if he can stop the runs games from triggering, so may as well defend with uh, as uh, as much as he can if if he can get to 24 at least. Otherwise, it makes no real difference. Nine builders, I think so. That's uh, nine for st the stronghold. That's twenty-two, and Castle Black would be twenty-four, and uh, Haunted Forest twenty-five. Without the harder triggers, I flip bottom is supposed to be standing. It was knelt by a misclick here in the marshalling phase. What can it do though? It can take an icon, let's say four away, and yeah, maybe that's enough. So, did I say 25, 26? So, if you take four away, you might win by six. And both both harder triggers also need to be cancelled. Still some intrigue icons left standing. So it looks like uh, Firebart has uh, made this calculation. Let's see if he's uh, calculated correctly. Yeah, but it is. Uh, it takes some time to do this. Time is running out, as you can see. It's nine one, and uh, if you play with uh, twenty eight strength challenges against the board like this, it's uh, it's gonna take a few minutes for the opponent to also make the calculation. And of course, he is perfectly entitled to do so. But it is. Um, it can be quick. Of course, the runs game can recover. If you do two the runs games, you get to. 11 suddenly it's uh, anyone's game and the gento has uh, concluded that he cannot stop the runs game so just uh, defending with the one nine six. Can he do three in a row? Two won't be enough. Now the power challenge in the wall and dominance potentially. And you only have one round, I think. Still standing is uh, the water gardens and lay waste. Wall wasn't uh, removed last round. It was a milk instead, and now the wall is, of course, gaining power. But with this draw, I would be surprised if there wasn't another wall available anyway for Argento to be marshaled. Does make a huge difference in the strength calculation, though. So if that could get assaulted, for instance, it would be easier to push things through. Okay, that's the one you 
might not want to do giving the chance for the runs game on defense six so there's ten available not quite enough One holder cancelled. I think he has another one. But now the runs game on defense. And by defending fully, that now, of course, uh, means he's conceding on a post military and dominance so that's uh, up to 14 after the wall trigger If lay waste is used, yes. What will this be? One of the milks? I think it's a bit late to get rid of the wall now. Seized. Hmm, yeah. That could have stop stopped a couple of wall triggers, kept it uh, alive for another round, for another Durant's game threat. Okay, so far, but will be on seven after after the prize, I think. So he is not not close enough to win with the last game. Mm, trigger renown is on the tattered prince. I don't think you can find it anywhere else. There is some power renown potentially with Knights of the Sun. Using Ari in standing puts him uh, on reserve. And if this is close call, I think it's game over. Action card knelt for Indoran's name, so decent economy, but no draw. Point the end. Selects forward to be first player. On 14 you can potentially win with a power challenge. But yeah, I don't think there is a threat 
Oh, just winning in, in one challenge, so better to be safe and go second. See what is left after you're done. So unlimited economy, pretty much. And now some filtering here to dig for something. So what did the pointy end do? Uh, get rid of one power here. Yeah. Fair enough, no reason to get rid of Ricasso's dupes at this point. Nine left, so potentially Lord Andres's house could be in hand. Question is now, can uh, Firebird do anything uh, in the challenges phase? Because if he is in a position where Argento could just pass and win either with the wall or well, Red Keep cancels the wall, but with dominance, then uh, it's game over. So he needs to do something. Getting rid of a flea bottom target. Canceling the search makes sense. Still two triggers, that's uh, potentially for the two holders. <laughs> yeah. Probably not enough to stop the runs game, but it's enough to stop the the win. Unless there is some other power gain that I don't know about, some weird scorpion sting or something like that. Okay, running out of space. I won't uh, reduce the size of the cards. So you can just uh, remember that there is another Grizzled Miner and uh, a Craftsman also on the board all with the power icons. And now that the armies have gone down in strength, I think passing gives dominance to Argento, although we would need to do a quick count to make sure there is nine left here still in the gold pool. That's uh, <laughs> yeah, have to get an, another row probably. Yeah, if if Argento can pass and still win here, then it's uh, game over because the runs game gets you to uh, eleven with uh, one renown, and it's not uh, not enough. Yeah, all the milks. And yeah, this assault army can be milked. That's uh, nice for uh, some players like me, for instance. Uh, get annoyed by these no attachments uh, characters that have a strong ability. So we have um, Dennis and we have Argento in the top four. And we saw also the this one ending here. Yeah? So we have Bamboo also in the top four. And the last game not entered yet. So let's see if uh, that one is still no. So Radek already playing. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, so Radek won this one. It uh, hasn't been entered. Looks like 